A high-speed train travelling from Madrid to the Galicia region of northwest Spain derailed late Wednesday night, killing at least 65 people and injuring around 120 more. Emergency services rushed to the scene with firefighters climbing over twisted metal trying to rescue survivors through windows. All 13 carriages had jumped the rails, some of them ending up one on top of the other. The disaster happened near the city of Santiago de Compostela. Witnesses described an explosion as the train rounded a bend, possibly going too fast, and then derailed. Preparations had been underway for Galicia Day celebrations and thousands had been expected to attend. As you can imagine, all events for the local festival have been cancelled and two halls, the Ceriza and San Lázaro buildings, are going to be fitted out for the families of victims. They will probably end up being multi-purpose facilities for the bodies of victims. The injured are being looked after in Galicia General Hospital. Y los heridos están siendo atendidos, como ha dicho el delegado de gobierno, en el Hospital General de Galicia. Although talk of an explosion triggered suspicions of a terrorist attack, local investigators have rejected the idea and are working on the basis the disaster was an accident. Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, who comes from the region, is expected to visit later today. Our reporter at the scene says, Today was supposed to be a festive day here in Santiago de Compostela, but a sense of grief has pervaded Galicia. A train crash, one of Spain's most serious, has caused scores of deaths and left more than 100 injured. Filipe Soares, no local da tragédia, em Santiago de Compostela, Espanha, para a Euronews.